depending on which coach would you want to start at? Uh, let's start with Kevin O'Connell, bro. Um, the Vikings are 3-0, and okay? And they have done a fantastic job, Max, of bringing in Flores, O'Connell running the offense with Sam Darnold, signing guys like Aaron Jones. They have the superstar in Justin Jefferson. They just beat a Houston Texans team that everyone was slobbering all over two weeks in a row. All the weapons in the world. Beat, beat might be an understatement. Yeah. Um, they they pummeled them. Like, they look like a broken offense. You know, Van Geekel has been playing great for the Vikings. Harrison Smith looks rejuvenated. I love what the Vikings are doing, bro. Like, is this for real with the Vikings? Because I'm leaning towards I, it. I'm is. not ready. I'm not ready to say it. That's just my own personality if I'm wanting to see things. But, look, I, I can't underestimate how they played in three weeks. They've been the best surprise in football up there for best team through three weeks, just the performances they've given, beaten San Francisco, who's the class of the NFC over the last few seasons, who, albeit, are dealing with a lot of injuries, but still, they're a great fucking team. Uh, they beat the brakes off the Giants. and They beat the brakes off a good Houston team that me and you really, really enjoy, really like. Uh, Kevin O'Connell doesn't get enough credit. You know, play with Josh Dobbs, lost Kirk Cousins. Look, I think you're seeing something in his offense that you weren't really able to see with Kirk Cousins at his peak. The movement of Sam Darnold is real. He's been like that since USC. He's always been a guy who can scramble. The difference is when he scrambles now and moves around, bad things don't happen as much. Yeah. You know, the occasional you'll see like, oh, crap, that was bad. He had one play, me and you were like, what are you doing? Stop. <laughs> but his athleticism is real. He's a baller. I, I love it. I'm happy for the kid, man. It just makes me, it makes me kind of scared because I think JJ's more talented than him. And if you get JJ <laughs> McCarthy back there, you have your franchise guy. And yeah. You have everything that you don't have with Kirk Cousins, who we saw it at times on Sunday night just to drag him through the dirt a little. Statue. The statue. Yeah. And I'm ready. I'm. I've already seen enough. It's not gonna matter what I what happens to the Vikings as far as them like making it to the playoffs, making a deep playoff run, whatever. I don't care. I've seen enough from Kevin O'Connell the last couple of seasons, including this one. Wow, Packers next week and Jets then Lions. That's gonna be a great watch. But I'm ready to throw Kevin O'Connell into at least top seven coaches, maybe even top five coaches in the NFL. That's how highly I'm thinking of him. You know, he's, it's like, I love the coaches that bring in great coordinators, you know, like a Flores. And we're going to see this maybe next year because maybe Flores has like a great year and he gets shipped off, goes, you know, Go be a head gets coach a second chance. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I bet you O'Connell's not going to miss a fucking beat, bro, because they just keep on finding guys like this. McVay just finds guys. LaFleur, he finds guys. Shanahan, how many guys does Shanahan ship out and be like, he's going to be a coach somewhere else? Sala, McDaniels. It's like these guys just find ways. They, they're they so creative. They're so innovative on both sides of the ball, they elevate players like Brock Purdy, like Sam Darnold, like Malik Willis. It's incredible to watch, bro. And I can't stress it enough that coaching fucking matters, bro. It fucking matters in the league, dude. And Kevin O'Connell needs to get the respect that I feel like he deserves. And we need to He's start throwing him into that man. conversation. Definitely underrated. Yeah. Look, there, there, I don't have a hierarchy of coaches. Maybe that's something we do in the future. But like you said, O'Connell has just proven time and time again, like, hey, I'm a good freaking coach. I can make shit work with nothing. The offense, you know, like you say, like, hey, you're an offensive coach. Have a good offense. You always talk about that with Salas. Like, you're a defense coach. Why, are you, why is your defense crappy? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Big change, everything is